Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Whitney. Welcome to the Serpent Priestess. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Um, these are general messages. Always remember, okay? They are not personal. It's all for entertainment purposes only, okay? And if you are guided to want a further reading, please email me at WhitneyMoonshine at gmail.com. Okay, you can find that in the description box below and also the about section. You can always give me a email and I will uh, discuss a reading with you. Pretty sure that's the tower. Yeah, I knew it. I know a tower when I see one. I'm going to take that. Spirit says, take a tower when you see a tower. And I'm going to. Anyways, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And uh, yeah, let's get it cracking. Promoter of discord, war, arguments, and falsehood. Gives generous responses. What is going on, Demon Tarot? Three of Cups. Page of Swords. Four of Wands. Knight of Swords. Six of Swords. The Emperor. The Fool. And the Lovers. Okay, somebody is unaware of something. They're unaware of this tower that's about to come down, okay? Um something's going to re something is going to be revealed to you. And once you find this answer, okay? The tower comes down. Um something somebody from the past um, somebody you haven't spoken to for a while is going to uh, tear this tower down, okay? Um, they have a fool's journey coming where they want to move forward. And moving forward involves laying down the war with you, okay? Um, now, uh, there are some things hidden. Okay, that you don't know um, have been said about you. Okay, some something has been said about you. Okay, regarding these people or this person, um, they might it might be a group of people. Okay, and one person approaches you, and it's kind of like I I don't think you know if they're a friend or a foe. I think it's kind of like, uh, last time we spoke, we were not friends. So that like, are we foes at this point? Do we not like each other? Or is this just like an in-between time where we just don't speak? Um, but somebody wants to move that forward. They don't want to, um, hold on to this anymore. Um, I don't know if you're going to travel, if someone's going to travel to you. Um, but they have something hidden to reveal. Okay. Maybe they're not going to do it over the phone. Maybe they want to come to you to tell you this. Um, it's, I think this emperor here, they've been they They're going to be, I almost feel like they're going to be persistent about it, about doing something. And, um, you kind of just go, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, this is where I'll be if, if that's what you want to do. And, um, because it's almost like maybe you just don't believe them at this point. You just are like, okay, I don't know if I can trust you. So I'm just going to, you just do whatever you got to do. And this is where I'll be. And if you get there, you get there. If you don't like, I'm not going to hang around. It's like, it's like, I feel like you don't trust it. You don't trust this page of swords. You don't trust this person because that's why you're like, we were, like, you were friends with this person, I think at one point, but I don't think they ever stood up for you. I don't think they ever, um, really, you know, like they, they cared about you so much, 
but it's like they were ashamed to show it, right? It's like it wasn't cool to like you. It wasn't a good thing to like you for some reason. And I think that's why you're like, I don't know if I should trust you with this. Like, like, <clears throat> uh, you know, you've been a fool more than on one, more than one occasion with this friendship. Okay. Like you might've given this person multiple chances and they just bomb it every time. And, 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 and that's sad, right? That's sad. That's why you kind of just moved on because it hurt more to watch this person fuck up so much around you than to just leave and just be like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. Like, but they turn from the page of swords to the knight of swords because they, they, they saw it, something hidden. I don't know I don't know what they found out, but they're more knowledgeable now on, on you. Maybe, I don't know. Um, you might tell your life story, you know, you might really put something out there and that's what gave this page of swords more information. Um, you know, maybe sometimes you're just willing to, to give up personal information, you know, that, and, uh, this person found out something, you know, literally from the horse's mouth and not from somebody else. And they realize that, that all these things that are hidden from you, you might want to know. And I mean, that would be good karma, right? On this person's behalf to, if they were a part of something before, and they ruined it, it would be good on their behalf to come to you and tell you what everybody said, what they were a part of, and that they're not a part of it anymore. And that's why it's really important that they get this out, that if this is what's being said about you, if this is what's out there, they are not a part of it anymore. They're not a part of it anymore. They, um, they really like you. And I think they always really liked you. And I think that that's why this tower is going to come down because I think they're going to say that. I think they're going to reveal that to you. And even if it is just a friendship, right? Like there were, there are people in my past that I genuinely really adored as friends. Like I would say, like, I would take a bullet for, like if anything happened to them, I was that kind of friend, man, I'd stop, dropped and rolled for the girls that I fucking really appreciated and loved. And like, we were all servers. Like we all busted ass, man. A server is not a server because she really wants to be. She's usually a server because there's something fucked up that happened and that's easy money and that's fucking thinking smart like somebody knows how to hustle servers know how to hustle they know how to grind that shit they know how to work back-to-back -back doubles they know how to work drunk okay like servers like like you know we we got thick skin we're tough and um you know, I really loved a lot of those girls I worked with and, and some of us were ripped away from each other, you know, because suddenly somebody quits and like the other girls want to stay with the company and they feel like, you know, they, they're going to disrespect the company if they are friends with you. And then I've also worked at some places where the managers straight up have told their staff to not speak to me after I've walked out the door. So there are cases like that. Like there is a, a couple places that told their staff uh, not to discuss anything with me at all. Um, it, it always, whenever I'm with the company, something always seems to go massively wrong. Like there was this place I worked in Calgary. Uh, the boss literally flashed me his dick, took his pants off, um, was whipping his fucking dick around while he changed underwear and pants with a guy beside him. And then his bartender was so drunk. This like six year old fuck who worked way too much, uh, walked up to me threw a fucking shot, a Jaeger at me, told me I was a piece of shit. And so that night I quit. Cause I was like, uh, this is a fucking freak show. I'm not going to work here anymore. And, uh, the manager told everybody to stay the fuck away from me immediately. Like there are still businesses that don't give a fuck about the rules, the law, anything. Okay. And this was in Calgary. Calgary is still a couple years behind, um, some of the provinces in Canada now where it's like uh, the shit that happens in a workplace is 100,000% documented now and taken very seriously, mainly because of all the foreigners here. They make a stink about a lot of shit, right? And uh, But that's kind of helped 
us, right? With bosses who seem to think that they can just run us like we're machines because they can run foreign people, right? It's just kind of fucking sucks to be honest. But that's really off topic, I feel like. But look at this. Okay. The season of change is on us and we are turning this bad energy into good energy. I really feel like this, this person has changed. Okay. They look at that reaching a higher level. They upgraded this page of swords upgraded to a knight of swords. Okay. This season of change. And then look at what's on top too. No security threats. And we have the CPTSD. So this page of swords, okay, um, obviously along with yourself, has gone through um, a traumatic time. And um, maybe watching you and what they did to you was traumatic. I don't know. Something has really brought, I, I'm really looking at the PMs and the PMs stand for the painful memories. Okay, painful memories. This person has a lot of painful memories with you. And I think maybe the uh, things that they did to you are bringing up a lot of painful memories. I think the words that they said about you, things that they did, they mistreated you, right? And it, it just, I think it's eating them up alive. Okay, I think it's eating them up alive. And then we got, look at that. I switched it over and we got endless spending. And the way that I see this is they're the sinking ship. That's, that's my idea of trying to draw a ship that's sinking. <laughs> I mean, I do fucking oil paintings. That's an oil painting right there of a marijuana leaf. It's actually really pretty when you look at it up close. And I couldn't draw a ship sinking. Okay, I was trying to think of the Titanic. And like, what is with this? What is it suddenly like in a wave? I don't know. Anyway, that was my idea. <laughs> okay, but they've been sinking. Like a, a couple tears came to my eyes. Um, they've been sinking. This has been, they've been separated you from a really long time. And they, um, they're growing quite fond of you now. And I find that with people, you know, like some people put on a big front with you and, uh, they can hate you. And, and that form of hatred is their only way of showing that they like you. It's really weird. Okay. And, and people just, people who don't know how to, how to express how they feel and how to feel what they're feeling in the moment for somebody that they don't know how that feels is it's complicated. Whoa. Did you just see that? This flew. And look at this. We have unlocked finally with brand new. So this person, this page of swords is brand new energy. It's why they're the night now. They really want to come in with some energy that has been locked up. It's been locked up. It's been kept from you. I don't know why, but it's unlocked now. And it's a finally moment. Like this has been fucking long enough. Okay. We need this new energy and we need it now sort of thing. Okay. If they're going to say, have a, a chance at saving this relationship, um, whatever it is to them, right. They have to, um, break this tower down because I think it's the tower that you built between you and them, right. They chose to go on another side. They, they didn't choose to go on your side and then that formed a tower. And the only way to break through that barrier is to knock, right? They obviously um, betrayed you in some way before and they can't do it again. They won't do it again. And then if they're not going to do it again, then the only way to not do it again is to knock properly, right? Even if the door is unlocked, maybe this person's just used to walking right into your shit because you leave the door open and, or you leave the door unlocked, right? But I think your door has been locked to this person because they kept breaching, they kept breaking in, they kept, you know, breaching these boundaries that they shouldn't have. So you put your borders up and now they got a knock and I really think they're going to, and I think it's going to happen pretty quickly. So if this resonates, awesome. If it doesn't, 
wait for the next message. Okay. Like I said, personal readings are cracking. I usually do them seven days a week. Let me know if you're feeling it. WhitneyMoonshine at gmail.com. If not, just thank you for liking the videos. If you do, thank you for jamming with the channel. Thank you for subscribing. And um, thank you for emailing and doing all the great things that you do and sharing these videos that you feel are important for other people. Absolutely. Right. If it resonates, it resonates. If it fucking fits it fits you know what i mean so um always remember though for entertainment purposes only obviously i have to say that and uh yeah have a good weekend rock on and keep it classy